Here's a short lesson on how to prepare a video clip for editing in Final Cut Express. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be opening up a screen capture that I have recorded a few moments ago, although this would work equally well if you were bringing in video from home or perhaps something you've downloaded from online. I'm going to start by opening up my video clip, uh, which is inside the Movies folder in my home directory. Here are my movies and here is the screen recording I want to open up. So I'm going to drag and drop that onto MPEG Stream Clip, the icon here at the bottom. And you may uh, notice a dialog box, an error message here. Are you sure you want to open this program that you've downloaded from the internet? You can just say open. And here is the screen recording movie that I captured. I can play it through and we'll notice it's uh, just a simple short recording opening up an item in the finder. I'm going to start uh, very quickly here by just having a look at the stream info here in MPEG Stream Clip, and that will show us uh, what size video we have, which is currently an HD video, 1920 by 1080, and it also shows us the number of frames per second. Ideally, uh, since the uh, tutorials we're recording in Final Cut Express are going to be in uh, 1280 uh, resolution, uh, or 720p, uh, we need to change the frame size and the frame rate here when we export. So that's very easy to do. I can close off that box. And here's, really it's in, in one step. I'm going to ask for File. We're going to be exporting as a QuickTime video. And I know this is a large dialog box. Um, we just need to spend a few moments checking out some of the settings. Uh, we are going to be using the Apple Intermediate Codec. Uh, this is a very high quality video Kodak from Apple uh, that will maintain uh, maximum quality. We're going to increase the slider up to 100% again for maximum quality. I am, however, going to scale this video down. Uh, our video tutorials will not be recorded in full uh, 1080p. We're going to use 720p HD video. So I'm going to ask for 720p. I don't need to worry about uh, interlacing or scaling at all so I'm going to uncheck but I am going to change the frame rate to standard television video frame rate which is 29.97 frames per second and I'll simply ask to make the movie MPEG Stream Clip wants to know where we'd like to save the file I'm going to export again to my movies folder in my home directory I'll create a new folder in this case called export this is optional create and screen recording too. I'm going to give it a slightly different file name here as well. I'll call it 720p HD and the actual conversion process will uh, be quite quick. Just takes a few moments for MPEG Stream Clip to reduce the frame size from 1080p to 720p and at the same time it's ensuring that the frame rate is going to match standard video frame rate. And there it's done. So we can stop. If I check back now in my home folder I'll notice I have a in my movies folder I have an export folder here and there is my 720p HD movie. If I wanted to open it up again in Stream Clip, just to check it out, I can do that and play it through. It looks smooth and sharp. So that's that. There is a batch conversion utility in Stream Clip as well. If you have more than one video that you needed to convert, you can always come up to the list menu and uh, create a batch list. Here you can drag and drop video clips on. If you like, I can show you very quickly how that would work. Here's the same screen recording we were using in the first demonstration. I can drag it on. At this point, you could be dragging more than one video as well. I'm going to be uh, converting to exp uh, or exporting to QuickTime. Uh, as part of the batch conversion process, it wants to know where we're going to be exporting the file. So you pick a destination folder. And then again, same settings would apply. I'm going to zoom in here. We, again, we want Apple Intermediate Kodak. Uh, we want to scale down to 720p, 29.9 frames per second. And we can say to batch. And the moment I press go, uh, that video will start 
converting and we can see that happening here in the upper corner and I won't uh, wait until that's finished but I'll be able to open up that video and import directly into Final Cut Express without need for rendering.